Electronics Corporation of Tamil Nadu Limited, Elcort, is a fully owned government of Tamil Nadu undertaking, promoting IT companies in Tamil Nadu and providing IT support to the government. This 750 crore growth chip company is also promoting nine IT specific special economic zones with the Sholinganallur and Coimbatore being the most sought after properties in the entire state. On May 26, 2006, Elcott's doors opened to a colony of penguins, heralding the migration of all its computer operations to open source systems, opening a new chapter in the history of this 30-year-old organization. How has this magic happened? Here is the success story for you. On 26 May, when I joined, my PA gave me a new laptop computer. I asked my system administrator to install Swissy Linux operating system. He was able to install the new operating system easily within say 45 minutes or so. And he was also able to connect it to the wireless network. That gave him tremendous confidence. From that day onwards, Elcott marched on to do a complete migration to Swissy Linux operating system. This was followed by the migration of desktop systems used in the MD Secretariat and that was again followed by the conversion of the entire Elcott's establishment into Suse Linux operating system. As the users started using the Suse Linux operating system, they found novel features there, features which were not there in their, in their existing Microsoft operating system. They, this gave them tremendous interest to use the new Suse Linux operating system. They also found out novel ways of converting their mail client to the Suse Linux operating system when I was not aware of it. First, they converted their Outlook Express into Mozilla for Thunderbird for Windows. And from there, they took the mail folder and then put it in the Suse Linux system in the Thunderbird and started operating the Thunderbird mail system on the Suse Linux system. Absolutely novel. The savings in migrating to an open source database in 20 servers alone worked out to rupees 5 crores. Decisions on fresh IT investments were easy as the cost savings ran from 25% at the low end to 90% at the high end. New desktops are procured for rupees 21,600 including SUSE Linux operating system, a host of office software and tunnel forms, along with a 19-inch TFT monitor, a savings of Rs 18,400 from the earlier price of Rs 40,000 apiece. A saving of Rs 17 crores was realized in the migration to SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition alone, in the supply of 30,000 PCs for schools, 6,000 PCs for panchayats, and 4,000 PCs to government offices. Elcott continues its efforts to bring Linux to every segment of the government through dedicated training programs held regularly by trained staff. We offer training to the government staff on the implementation and usage of common Linux-based office applications which include OpenOffice and Tux Typing Tutor for Typing Practice, Software Development Tools C++, Eclipse, NetBeans, Jasper Report and Postgres, Wine tool for conversion of Windows applications to Linux. The training schedules are held regularly with regular refresher courses. Special drivers and software also developed here. These are made available free on our website. This includes a Tamil font which is based on the Remington keyboard layout. We have started off on Linux implementation with confidence. Surprisingly, all our staff feel very relieved and my regular work has been reduced considerably. We have also installed dedicated secure servers based on Linux with a data center to host all government websites and applications. This has also been absolutely maintenance free. Most importantly, we have a 100 antivirus licenses rendered redundant and no more software licensing requirements. Enhanced security and exceptionally strong network capabilities have eased regular office tasks which include restricted document sharing and centralized system administration. Browsing is at a blazing speed. We have forgotten control altogether. The migration to Linux has been 
incident free the interface is better than windows the time saved in updating software has resulted in plenty of extra time available leading to enhanced productivity all our applications are very stable and we do not experience any blue screens in our day to day operations open office supports all the documents that has been created earlier on proprietary softwares vendor support is readily available with the specific product driver development So say Linux add value to our work we add value to our customers not a chance virus attacks have become extinct Linux is free to use it works on the principle of open source software the upgrade is also available free resulting in huge savings we use a technique called copyleft the idea of copyleft is that it's copyright flipped over and what we do is we say this software is copyrighted and we the authors give you permission to redistribute copies so we give you permission to change it we give you permission to add to it but when you redistribute it it has to be under these terms no more and no less elcolt has set up its very own software development center staffed by 30 software professionals spearheading the development and implementation of linux based applications in the various departments of the state we are developing application software using 100% open source tools we are using suse linux desktop postgres for database jasper reports for report writing jvas for deployment and netbeans for integrated development environment The state wide area network of government of Tamil Nadu interconnects 708 offices across the state up to block level. The services deployed are voice, data, internet, intranet, video streaming and video conferencing. Elcot is the implementing agency of this 182 crore TN state van project. This network operating center at state capital monitors, maintains and manages at the entire network. The important aspect of this network is it has been entirely designed and commissioned on open source platform that to first in the country. Currently, Elcot has been implementing four major application software using open source technology. The first and foremost is the family code administration system. This is a 750 GB data. Every family in the state has this family code. earlier the system was in a typical client server microsoft architecture there was a whole lot of confusion we switched over from the client server architecture to completely web based open source system people will have a pleasant service the second application software we have developed or i would say rather under development is for online registration of property Today, when somebody wants to register land or any property, he has to go to the sub-registrar's office. Now, the Anywhere Registration software, developed under open source technology, enables a citizen to file the entire application online. This includes payment gateway option as well. A citizen can choose the date and time of registration. He or she can come, sign the papers, and have pleasant service from the sub-registrar's offices. What you find here is the world's first ever Linux powered ATM and it was developed here in Elkhart. It uses a, an industry grade cash dispenser. Thanks to the open source system, this ATM is going to be marketed by Elkhart at almost one fifth of the market price. The fourth open source software project implemented by us was printing 7.7 million former identity cards. The government wanted us to issue former cards to all the farmers in the state. We printed the 7.7 million former cards in just 90 days time thanks to open source technology. Elcord marches ahead with the penguins. Leaving a trail for others to follow.